might have seen this movie bit, you should have seen a few stills on the sort of wood finish I'm trying to achieve or re-achieve. Uh, I like wood to look like wood, even outside. I do not like silvered or grey stained wood. I can't stand it. And I normally every two years uh, spray my shed uh, or workshop with a very expensive uh, clear wood preserver. It used to be spirit made by Cooper and Owen and they did a stupid thing and made it water based just to be green and it's rubbish. So now uh, the other make of Barentines have upped their game, probably saw a, a, a gap in the market. Uh, I'm going to try theirs. But first of all I've got to get it back to uh, a wood colour because wood preserver does not change the colour of things. It will stop it going grey, or silver as they call it, but it can't reverse it so you have to remove it first. So this is my gate which I forgot to do and hence it has gone silver so I'm going to do some ideas of how to, three ideas of how to get it back. Uh -huh. I know a method that will work but it's really messy. So here's my gate which I made myself a few years ago. It's never warped, never dangled at an angle. As you can see on this edge, especially where that hinge is, the end grain there, that's the colour it used to be, a golden wood colour. It's only pine, basically. But it's gone grey. Like this. Right, so I've done a footpath, a side alley, so I can't get any further away to show the whole gate. So there you go. Now, I did earlier try the other day this little bit. See my finger? Here, you can see. Oops, where are we? There. And that is just using a bleach mix, which I'm going to do again just for part of the video, because that's the cheapest option. And then, after that, I'll do another bit using the well-known, well, it's not that well-known, I suppose, uh, patio cleaner, which also kills algae and most other things, uh, which is sodium hypochlorite. And then on the last one, which will probably be on a different day, because it's, it's fish and chip going to be around soon, and it's getting, uh, sun's going down. Now I use the pressure washer, which I know takes the grey off, but it also makes the wood rough because it actually erodes the surface layer off. So, right, I'll show you what I'm going to do. There's a couple of um, bit of leftovers wood and a bit of my workshop, which is a log cabin affair, which is oh, a bit, bit of wood been hanging around the back about 20 years. I just dusted it down and a bit of scrap wood that I drill into every now and again as a sacrificial bit of wood, you can see a few holes in it but let's see what, what effect the, the, the chemicals have on that as well as the gate right, so all I use to start with, the cheap, the cheap, cheap option bog standard bleach it's thick bleach, very thin bleach would be better but I can't seem to get it anymore anyway any old thick bleacher do, I suppose, as long as it's not those scented ones, just like that. And what I do, garden sprayer, like this. It's a simple mister. You may have seen it in my previous video, which is, and it's already the mixer's already in there. But I'll just point out, but you don't, you want a nice misting mist like this, and that is bleach in there. So I don't I some, make sure none gets on my shirt. Okay. Now, the mix is, well I'm doing it anyway, as per the sodium hypochlorate ratio, of um, one part bleach to four parts water, so it's 20%. So, bleach up to about there, and then one, two, three, four of water. That's 20%, though probably 25% would also be okay don't want to get too strong so that's what I'm going to do now I've already pre-filled this and uh, we go up to the gate it doesn't happen immediately right Let's see what I'm doing Let's go down it you must if you want a windless day and a, a cool time of day Like this, all the way down. 
do the other bit again as well. And I'll do that post as well, worry about it. Like that. Now it looks like it's um, going wood colour straight away. It's not, it's just because it's wet. And that's nice and cool now, so. Got the post there. Which is quite white anyway from. On the end grain. We'll see what that does. Okay. Oh yeah, I was going to do this, wasn't I? So let's say this right one then is going to be bleach. This is a lot easier to compare. That get nice and soaked in. That hasn't been done ever before. <laughs> Right. Now for the other chemical, sodium hydrochlorite, which is not the sort of thing you buy down at your local supermarket. Comes in a, was it five litres? Yep. Yeah. And I buy a pack of five of those to do my patio. Well, it's for the patio actually. So I know how good it is. So I thought I'd, um, and it does black spots, see. It's supposed to be one of the best patio cleaners there is, so you don't really need a pressure washer. But it's also the, the well-known chemical used for in swimming pools, apparently. So it's not going to kill you. I wouldn't drink it neat. Now, normally, you'd use a, a pump-up sprayer. Can't see it against the green, can you? You know, a, a, a bigger one of those things where the, where the you know, you pump them up like that on the top there and point it a variable knob, no, jet, shall I say. Or not jet orifice thingy, but again the instructions say, like the the bleach I did, uh, twenty percent I think. I think we can see it. What's it say? Uh, directions: one part of the product of five parts of water. Oh, that's actually less than twenty percent then. But I've done it twenty, one to four parts of water. So. I'll try it on this other bit of wood then, shall we, to start with. Okay. Like that. Now, it says, you really, especially on the patio, you're supposed to have the, the ground wet to start with. So I'll just quickly spray the um with my hosey thing here hang on where are we i think we've got a a mist set in here we have this is an american one by the way it's quite good so i just missed it oh well, that's a bit that doesn't work <laughs> it's blocked up we're in a chalky area and it's blocked up i have to go to the normal doing this one out is not too easy shower I yeah, have to move it. Need a bit more f slack on the hose. There we go. Right. Make sure we don't wash the bleach off. Just there. You are. Make make that wet. Put it back. Right then. Now. There's the stuff down here. There it is. Pick it up. Now the bleach is up to up to about there, isn't it? Something like that, I think. That one. One, two, three-ish. If we go, well, I just go this side. Or down the no, down the middle. Because that's this small silver in the middle, isn't it? So let's see what this stuff does. This is a lot more potent. I'll aim it that way. Like that. So it doesn't go over the bleach and Where is it? Lost it. And there we are. It's very hard to keep track of these things. Well, I suspect this one I do rather well. Better than bleach, but we'll see. I'll just do it anyway.
there and along the top because that really goes off that does where are we there we go That's gonna work. That looks like it's working already. Grief. Limey. Better than bleach. Come back here and look at that. Oh. How? Yeah, look at that. When I go there, that really dark bit there. Squirt. Watch. Oh. Oh, that's impressive, isn't it? Oh yeah, well forget bloody bleach then. <laughs> Pardon my friend. <laughs> By order that um, when you order your chemicals for your patio, make sure you do your woodwork too. This is amazing. We've got to let the, the bleach do its thing. Ah, oh, I wonder if this thing's classed as the best patio cleaner money you can buy. But, ah, there's something else that is. What about this really dark stuff down the bottom? You know, get this on your clothes. <laughs> yeah, do that another blast of that. How about the green down here, like the patio? See what that does. They're not quite as obvious or as quick. I don't want it's doing its thing a bit there. coming out of the toilet who hasn't ripped my trousers well there's another this thing here worry about it I suppose see what that does well, it's pretty white anyway but you never know it might come out even better I'll do the other side I don't back and touch the, the gate with my clothes, it's going to ruin them. <laughs> These are actually rather new trousers. Oh, yeah, that's bringing the pink out already, isn't it? That pink piney colour. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, that's a discovery, all right, isn't it? I'm going to go back over here then to this bit. This is an older bit of wood, I think, this bit. Well, I've been to get the fish and chips, so that's taken like 20 minutes. And, um, well, on these old samples, there's not actually a lot of difference. The, um, the bleach, uh, or kind of rectangular one on the, on the right, looks very much the same colour as the, um, bit of spare log cabin on the left. So, which was done with, what was it called? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sodium hypochlorite, that's it. So, hmm. But, on the, on the gate, which was only very lightly um, silvered, and the posts, the gate posts, brilliant. So, as you probably saw earlier, the, um, all this from the, where's my finger, from there, all the way across to where is it there is sodium hypochlorite i think that panel there was just left alone still silvered and these two here that one and that one were bleach and they don't well they're not they're a brown color 
not strictly silvered anymore. Uh, not too bad at the bottom, but again there might have been uh, sodium hypochlorite overspray, I'm not sure. Uh, that bit there needs doing. I'll, I'll quickly do that while I'm filming. See, so obviously the hyper sodium stuff is a lot more aggressive and well better at the job than what bleach is. They both have a ble bleaching action, obviously. Now, it's all before your eyes, you can see that change colour. That's quite amazing. That. instantaneous Ooh, bend my legs down here a little bit I mean, uh, that makes any difference and over here down the bottom here and whatever that bit is it's a lot of that so. Bit there maybe. Oh. Can't always tell. It could just be wood colour anyway. Around knots and things. And as we come back up again, you'll see. Oh, look at that! It's, it's amazing how fast that reacts. Some of those marks like that one there could, could, uh, could be a boot mark from a welly or some black welly or something. Who knows? Giving it a shove. Mind you, it doesn't stick. This gate. It's a perfectly good gate. There you go. Probably could do it a bit more there. And just there, and across this top bit. Where are we? Up there. This bit that's supposed to hold the shape together. And those gaps are deliberate. That's warpage, that is. But, but the gaps in the planks are deliberately so, the, so it doesn't twist the gate in one as they expand and try to push each other off. That's an expansion gap, it's deliberate. All right, when you look at the post, well, that post is not bad. And you get down this bit where it's been out of the weather and it's gone back to the proper wood color. See, in here, see the difference? As soon as you get to the bit where that joint is, it changes, so that bit is protected and it's still real wood colour now. I sprayed it. <clears throat> oh, that was some, some damage from the previous gate that was here, which I got rid of because it was no good. And there you go. See? All the way down. And those, those knots look brand new now, don't they? Look. Not quite the same as bright as that but not far off certainly good enough now it probably once it's dried off a bit you can go, uh, wash it down wash the chemicals out of the wood on this side quite amazingly it's there see it there uh, I presume it was originally pressure treated maybe it's got a greeny tinge to it that cyanide they, whatever it is they put in it it's come back, see, okay, another bit there. It was previously painted, and I unpainted it because I know that painted wood, there's a snail, well, obviously not poisoned him, is it? It wasn't there before when I sprayed it, so. Anyway, there you go. There you see the, see the greeniness in there? Yeah, you see there's some paint there embedded. That's come up all right. Yeah, not bad at all. So, I've classed that as a. Yeah, that's all gone now, that dark, isn't it? Look. Good. I've classed that as a. a win. And very easy, wasn't it? Just a quick spray with a simple little. garden plant sprayer. Or, is that a household 
house plant mister really that's all it is anyway unless I think of something else thanks for watching difference it makes to the wood. Will it be this pale brown colour or will it come out like brand new wood? Sort of pinish colour, much lighter colour or yellowy colour. So we're gonna blast it now and we'll see, shall we? I haven't done this for a few years so I can't remember. So going on here we have a proper pressure washer. Not one of those I mean um carter rubbish yellow things plastic everything this is real stainless steel brass and weighs an absolute ton and is 1986 vintage and still working like a professional unit even though it's a square box design wise one out of ten actual use eight out of ten it hasn't got auto turn off so that's why the down point doesn't get ten out of ten so here it goes <coughs>
is a tool, this is. There. So, we have to let, have to wait for that to dry, so we can see if there's any change in wood colour and compare photographs with the earlier ones after the bleaching. Well, they've got nice wood grain patterns anyway. Oh. 